Hello everyone, it is me Marshall the commentator for Crossrain Clash and we're now on the final race for the qualifiers. After Wizard Forest and Bermuda Bayside, we're now on the final track in Solstice Cross. Last time out with the with their win, Bray Braille took the lead in the qualifier standings. And we have some big leapers and big fallers in the standings, such as Honeymoon falling on whopping 13 spots and traffic like going all the way up to fifth for up whole spots. As I just said, so we're now in the final track in Solstice Cross, hosted by actually an underqualified marble, that being Equinox. Now going into the final test run of the qualifiers, this track is estimated to be around 2 minutes for that with pack marble, and you have two ops, two gimmicks for this track, that being the Star Spinners and the Anti-Gravity Pads, as currently Sock Puppet is currently in the lead as of right now. You know, Umbrella Dance is now the one leading, they're going to be the ones demonstrating the Star Spinners, and here they are, Star Spinners. They can be very unpredictable. They can swing you. You can either go right past them or they can swing in unpre unpredictable directions. So just treasure chests. They are struggling and while well, they got flung backwards by that one spinner. And they can get they can go spin get, they can spin pretty fast as Crack Attack, Min Mitchell, and Conehead near the back. No, 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 Currently not, and now we're going to the end of the course. Now, Treasure Chest is now leading in the pack with Sock Puppet right behind them. Treasure Chest now maintaining a healthy lead. Going to the final part of the course. With a whole, with a whole, with a whole trying to catch a Quack Attack. Getting pretty close, but they just cannot do it just as yet. And I believe Treasure Chest will be the ones winning this race, and they will. The Quack Attack and Umbrella Dance has been a good move on Min Mistral for that final turn. No idea where lipstick line then, but now we're going to the final race now for the qualifiers. Marbles are not getting mentally prepared to get started. And there they are now for the final time for the qualifiers. They're not off a bit with a with a lot of speed. They, they take first. Dragon for Crane and Sangu, but they got shed by plenty of marbles as Honeymoon Saturn and Crow Crow getting go, go the second now. Saturn is not good. No, Saturn is not the marble in second. Here comes Warp Coil though with a with the move and they take it. Thunderbird also makes a good move on Abyss Orb, but so does Dragon Fruit and Mitchell is now falling for the standings. Warp Coil now in the front. They're killing marbles in the bottom half. We have our first look at the Star Spinners. How the marbles are going to react? That's the turn. That's the one particular struggling with the Star Spinners, falling very behind. So let's not to go off camera. So Abyss Orb, Abyss Orb now is in the lead. Warp Coil second. Thunderbird third. Healthy lead ahead of ahead of Fist Nebula and Beach Friend with Power Art giving pressure. Colonel and Gold Bear are now at the ones at the very back of the course. Currently saw this arc now in the front. Thunderbird trying to catch up though with Warp Coil on their tails. Oh, Bowser with good defense. Blocking Thunderbird from taking the lead. Abyss are with a bit of a bad move. And they lose two more spots as Thunderbird and Warp Coil take it back from them. Thunderbird now with the marble in front. Here comes Flower Eye up into fourth. They're actually a marble in the front half alongside Warp Coil. They will level a good hull. Here comes Rip Tide, our previous track goes from Bermuda Bay side. They're currently last in the qualifiers, but it's not possible for them to make it to the season 2. Thunderbird with lots of speed, they're now extending their lead by massively. A boost is going to hold up Flower Eye, Warp Core, Chris Neville, and Rip Tide for his second overall. Thunderbird, they're actually in contention to win the whole qualifiers. And with this, with this goal, they may, be able, they, may be able, they may be able to do it. They're just doing nothing but stretching their lead there. No one else is in sight in the camera. No idea who took this currently in second right now. It's currently Riptide now. This now trying to hold on against Warp Coral. Thunderbird at the final turn of the course. They will cruise to a win. No competition for Thunderbird. They will win. Riptide leading will get second place. And Twist Neighbor will get their back a second bronze medal. In the qualifiers for the bits are Plo Angel, Granola, with Hot Cocoa Flower, and Warp Coral rolling out the top eight for this race. Here comes other marbles flooding in now. Scourging Kepler, Con Candy, I believe that, and Go Glare. Another bad swing for them. Thankfully, I do not think any other marbles got stuck on the, along the course. And yes. Well, a really good showing from Thunderbird. But could Erlan Abyss Arb did hold on the lead, but Warp Coral and Thunderbird, that move against Abyss Arb near the front of the course, was crucial as they both of them maintained top 8 spots throughout the entire race. Thunderbird, though, they grew a massive lead to the point where nobody else was on camera for most of it, even. Also, I'd like to note, Riptide with that silver medal, that may or may not be enough to clutch them back at top half finish. As the, I said the comparators did 
uh, face the Star Spirit Spirit Duel and the Gravity section did switch up the order slightly, especially how the Marvels entered the Gravity section. Look at Vapor in particular rising up at least six spots through that the anti gravity pad. Definitely useful for them. As look at that move from Snow Angel, they, they, they flew a bit too hard on that one part of the course. A bit sharp though. They did retake the lead, but they choked it once again to both Warcoil and Thunderbird. But I will know Warcoil was in second from most of the race, but choked all the way down to, I believe, eighth. That might ruin the chance of qualifying as Flower Eye also, where it wasn't near the top three. But Thunderbird did cruise to win. Congrats, major congratulations to them. And also congratulations to our overall podium for the final race of the qualifiers, Prison Nebula, Riptide, and Thunderbird. Fun fact, this is Prison Nebula's second bronze medal in the qualifiers. Actually, they're the only mar marble to get more than one podium in the qualifiers, actually. So that, so that did nothing but steal the ticket to Season 2 of CTC. Upcoming are the rally standings, and yes, Thunderbird, Riptide, Nebula, Abyss Arm, Snow Angel, Hot Cocoa, Flower, Warp Whirl, Dragon Fruit, Cardinal, Bleach Fan, and Honeymoon will get our final top half finishes for, for the qualifiers. But now, with all three races finished, it is now time to announce our 12 qualified marbles after three grueling races. Only 12 can make it to Season 2. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the 12 qualified marbles for Season 2 will be... Thunderbird, Braid Braille, Cardinal, Rip, Ribeye, Prince Nebula, Abyss Orb, Dragonfruit, Prism, Whimsical Wave, Hot Cocoa, Snow Angel, and Decibel. These 12 will be the ones picking out of the qualifiers and going to the A League, joining our 8 qualified, eight auto qualified marbles. Unfortunate, especially for Flower Eye, they lost to a perfect tie against Decibel. And since Decibel did beat Flower in more, in more races, they the last spot, but for Flower Eye, Traffic Light, Silla Marlin, Con Candy, Rip, Rip Tide, Honeymoon, Warp Crow, Sakura Team, Saturn, Beach Rock Temple, and Golden Glare, you'll have to settle for going to the B-League for Season 2.